here in DC, everything is about DC. Everything is about, all the good ideas come from DC, and if it's not DC, it's New York. But the idea that there are interesting, innovative, and really transformative things that happen in the western part of this country is something that doesn't really occur in our policy space. When I took over with the Goldhurst Foundation and launching LA 2050, I was one person and then I got one more person on board and so we thought about how do we actually build bigger capacity and build more outreach and more buy-in and get people mobilized to act and that was, there, there we have technology, what a great answer and great solution. And then we opened the floodgates and did this crowdsource grants challenge using technology and we reached 80,000 people within the same amount of time. So it's, it's, it's astronomical of what you can do with technology in the right way. Kogi is a, is a collaborative process. You know, um, I get a lot of attention for it, but it's really, it, it was breaking the system and including everyone. I lost my job, I couldn't get another job. This was at when the economy broke. I was at the point where I was gonna apply for jobs at entry level again, and that's how it started. And then from there, it opened up a whole floodgate. I started tapping into everything that I grew up with. Um, we parceled out all the duties, and then I came up with the recipe of just cooking from my soul this taco that represented Koreatown. And we were possessed, and we just went out to Hollywood and started selling tacos. I think there's a bit of um, ignorance and just and risk taking. And if you're if you're down and you don't really have anywhere to go but up, then you're going to try whatever you can try. And so I think that that's actually liberating, and that's where a lot of innovation can occur. I think that's part of the key to creativity and innovation is a little bit of ignorance, a little bit of risk taking, a little bit of why the hell not. I knew at that time that I had to be the leader of this because um, there's no turning away from it. Part of what's interesting about the way this community was built, I mean, I think we both tapped into literally and figuratively a hunger. I mean, yes. you tapped into hunger, hunger like sure. physical hunger, and we tapped into a hunger that people wanted to feel connected, that Angelinos wanted to feel connected, they wanted to feel involved, they wanted to have agency in their future, they wanted to do something about that, and they didn't know how to do something about that or where they could go. We're only as good as our community is good. We're only as good as the individuals we choose to support. So it's, we, we better be listening to that community and, and sort of fostering it. I think that's what characterizes Los Angeles, that you can do whatever in the world you want to do here. You can be whoever you want to be. And it's actually that kind of mashup of all of that that, that makes LA so interesting and that I think that the, the rest of the world is watching. With social media and with technology, it's just opened the floodgates for, for all these creative dreamers to come to Los Angeles.